Hey everyone, it's Sabrina. I am going to be making an Everyday Explorers page for the new May releases with the award stamp set and then me time. And I'm so excited about this layout. I love the color scheme I came up with, the monochromatic, and I printed out these blocks of paper using my matte photo paper, so I wasn't sure how they were gonna turn out. And as you can see, that pink lemonade ink made some of the uh, stamps a little wonky. So I'm gonna cover that up and just a little bit and fix it and it came out perfect it was a great hack for how i fixed that card so for this one here i'm just doing the repeat stamping over and over again and it's just today's mantra and then taking a break and i'm just going to keep stamping that and then on the other one the other card i have in the zone and then shine on and then i'm also going to stamp a variety of sentiments and phrases on a piece of paper so I can cut those out. Because if you've been following me for a while, I make me albums and I've made them for years and I always make them so complicated and hard to finish. So this year I'm trying storyline chapters for my me projects and I'm just trying to keep things simple. So in January I did a collage type type layout with Kelly Stamps and this month I did just a grid basically just square photos and then now I'm just adding in the stamped phrases and it'll come together super quick. So I've stamped like I said earlier a wide variety of phrases, it's all okay, deep breaths, and then a couple other awards so I can use those, those as well. When I'm doing things that go across both pages, I like to use a ruler so that way I can try my best for alignment. And then once I have like the top row or one section, I won't need the ruler anymore and I'll have everything put down. So I'm finished up with the photos and now I can start to cut everything out and kind of place it where I think it's gonna go. And mind you, cutting out those awards aren't easy, but they are worth it. Okay, so right now I'm cutting out Keep Going, and this is the hack that is going to fix that square. I just put it on the mess up, and you can't even tell now, and I'm so glad I saved that card. For the photo of me on a walk, the shadow, I put Clearing My Head, and um, if you can look closely on that layout, there's a wood piece um, that's shaped in a heart. I found it on the street. It was so cool. It's all, it's all Okay is going to go in the top left corner with the black and white photo, and I also have a thin acrylic piece from Colorcast Designs that I'm going to add down the side. So I love that little piece. It's subtle, and it will work. For this Shine On piece that I just cut, I'm going to go ahead and add that to another um, pink paper that I stamped. Digging through my color cast design stash to see if I have any acrylic pieces. I have a few stars, so I'm going to go ahead and use those. Up by that photo of me in the mirror, I make a little cluster with you kicked, you know what, and taking care of myself, and then an acrylic uh, star. Down at that uh, the bottom photo, I was so exhausted and just done with the distance learning, so I was laying on the floor after yoga and just taking deep breaths. So I just had to add that stamped phrase. Uh, good job is gonna go to the top right of my photo. I thought the left, but it's not gonna work. So I just put it over the right. And then I just glued down the February with a glue pen. And then um, I'm gonna glue down an acrylic uh, star. And then I'm gonna draw my journaling lines and I'm just gonna do kind of a bullet point list at the bottom off camera gonna add a few Nouveau drops to finish the spread and then I think I add some enamel dots and then I change my mind I'm like I don't want the enamel dots so I'm just gonna take those off and then I will be finished up with the spread and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this process video come together this project come together I would love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you are new to my channel thanks so much for watching and have a great day bye